Hello everybody and welcome back to Yankee Dabber, where of course every day is a train show. Today we got some new items, Engineer Hall. Are you excited? Oh, it's excited for some new items in Yankee Dabbler. Oh my gosh, that's so super awesome. We got some great new things that we're going to take a look at. We're going to start with Walther's. We got some boxcars. Let's take a look at these boxcars. Now, these are 50-foot ACF exterior post boxcars. And I have three different row names for you to choose here. I got the Burlington Northern and Santa Fe. We have the Wisconsin Southern. And finally, the Railbox TTX. Now, these are really nice boxcars from Walther's. Let's check these out here. Look, Engineer Hall, die-cast metal wheels. That's always a good thing, right? Mm -hmm. All right, very nice detailing here. The doors do not open, but they're a really nice car for the price. You want to know the price, Engineer Hall? What's the price? We'll check this out. Ready? Now, these cars sell for $38.98. I'm going to sell them here at Yankee Dabbler for $29.70. Ah, too much. You can do better than that. Okay, how about uh, $21? You can do better than that. Come All on, right, now. I know about, you could drop it better than that. Right, I know you're the man for the discount. Remember, remember I told you last time about you got to get discounts? All right. And all you right. ran away so from me? What, I will close these out here. I'm going to sell these on the Monday night close out on our website for $16.99. How about that? Even better. Give me some love See, that. Now there you go. Talking, there you go. That's right? a good one right there. So these are really nice cars here, and I have a bunch of different roll numbers to go with these cars, too. So if you're interested in having a nice, long boxcar train, make sure you get these. Now, look for the uh, C on the end of the uh, item number. So for example, if you just type in ACF exterior post box chart, you'll get it and you'll see like the regular version, the retail price is 29.70 that we're selling it for. But if you see a C next to it, it's the same car and we're selling it for 16.99. So make sure you get the right one. So you get the deals and you get more cars and you have more box cars and life is great. So come to Yankee Dabbler and get them today. Okay, Engineer Hall, we're gonna take a look at some stuff from J Scale. What is J Scale? Okay, how about K scale? No, well, come on, come on. L? What is L? There's nothing to L. N scale? There you go, N scale. Better. All right, All right, right we'll take a look at some N scale stuff here. We got some Atlas PS2 cover hoppers for your consideration. Check these out from J scale. N scale. N -scale. All right, sorry. All right, so I got a bunch of different row names here. These are from the Train Man series here. I got the Guilford, Boston, and Maine. I have here a really cool looking Northern Pacific. I like the green Norfolk and Western. This is a really look interesting one here. It's the Smith Douglas. I have here the Burlington Northern. I have here the Central of Georgia. I finally have potatoes and cotton candy. Is that what this stands Say for? what? Uh, oh, Penn Central. I knew that. And finally, we got the Pennsylvania. Now, these are really great looking cars here. Now, these are the Trayman series. So I don't have a tremendous amount of detail here. Let's take a look at this potato and cotton candy one. Let's say it again? Uh, Penn Central oh, one here. Oh, no. All right. I, I just like the look of these cars here. They look really great here. And the neat thing about these cars is they are very economical for you people that want to have a whole long box, uh, popper train rather. And so the retail value of these cars is $25.95, but we're selling them here in Yankee Dabbler for $17.99. So I really enjoy these cars here. I think the PS uh, cover hoppers are really neat looking. I have a whole bunch of different colors too. I always like a lot of color on my railroad. So come to Yankee Dabbler, you and scalers, and get this running on the rails today. Does it carry potatoes and cotton candy? I hope so. Yeah, find out. Okay, we got some new things from Repeat that I'm really excited to check out. We got some NCS center beam flag cars here. Let's check these cars out here because they are really nicely detailed, as we can expect from Rapido Trains. So if you take a look what we have here, we have a whole bunch of different row names here, and these cars are just incredibly detailed. Now, the neat thing about these cars here is I do have a die-cast metal frame. The rest of the car is plastic, and actually there is a warning here. It says, please do not pick up your center beam model by the top truss of the uh, rail cars because they're not designed to support the weight and they may become damaged. So just be careful when you open these cars here. But as we know from Rapido, they put a lot of detail, a lot of time and effort into these cars here. As a matter of fact, as they told us when we saw them at the Illinois Railway Museum, they said some of their cars look better actually when they derail off the track so you see with the undercarriage. Mm. But they got a couple of different versions also in the boxes here. Not the most exciting colors. Hey, but... quick question. Um, where did you get that information from? Where did I get what information from? Picking up. Oh, here, please do not. Oh, yeah, okay. See, oh, you. see, I don't just make up stuff. I mean, I make up a lot of things, but I just 
don't make up that. Alright, so these are really nice looking cars here, and we know we expect a lot of high quality ness from Rapido. Is that a word, high quality ness? It is now. These cars are just really nicely detailed, and as you can see, I have nice die cast metal couplers, die cast metal wheels. Look at the detailing in there, it tells me all the information that needs to happen there, and I can actually read it. Warning do not move car unless tie downs are secure in key slots. Very cool. So these are very realistic. Now these cars retail here in Yankee Dabbler for $59.95. Remember, these are very highly detailed cars. But we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $54.99. And the neat thing about these cars here is I, once again, have a whole bunch of different row numbers. So if I want a nice long unit train of center beam flat cars, I can put that together. So what do you think, Engineer Hog? You liking them? I like the flat cars, um, but I know you can do better on that. Uh, no. <laughs> How about this? How about we do the Engineer Hall 5% discount? There you go. Give it back to the community. Yeah, there you go. Give it back to the people. There you, there you go. You get more money to spend on more trains. That's how this works here. So come to Yankee Dabble and get these Sitter B flat cars like a rail today. All right, Engineer Hall, I'll tell you what. I, I'm sick of looking at diesels. We're not looking at any more diesels. Uh, no problem. Hey, you want to look at diesel? <sighs> no, I said I'm done looking at diesels. Do you want to look at a diesel? So is this one of those things you think you're just going to keep saying it and I'm going to say yes? Let's look at a diesel. All right, they're over here. All right. So I got some GP38s here from Atlas. And these are really cool looking diesel engines. So I have a whole bunch of different paint schemes here. I really like this uh, Florida Gulf Atlantic one. The red, white, and blue colors really look great here. I got the Conrad Quality. Mm, 25 years favorite. of safety and service right there. Now this has been a really hot one here. We got the Central Main in Quebec. I really like that paint scheme engineer hall. Looks pretty nice. You know what? I would like to do a project with the AC4400. Okay. You know if you know. So let's take a look here at this. And this is a Chicago Northwestern engine that's leased by Ying and Pacific. My personal favorite out of the group is the Rock. I really like that one. I think that one looks sharp. I got a high hood here in Norfolk and Western. And then I got a couple of other engines here on the box here. Uh, this is kind of a neat one here. If you take a look at this Tennessee, Alabama, and Georgia, I have one that's like an in-service version. And I have one that's kind of a railway museum version. That's pretty cool. Huh. Uh, I got a whole bunch of different engines here. And these are really affordable diesel locomotives yeah. now. If you take a look, I have some very nice detail in there. I like the fact that we actually had the website for the railroad on there. That's pretty neat. This is a really neat looking engine here. And I think we should run it. What do you think, Engineer Hall? I uh, you know I like this one. I like it. Don't get it wrong. Oh. But I like the car one better, though. Well, all right. So let's run the Central Main in Quebec one. Because it's my show. It's our show. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to run that, uh, what was it, that Central Maine in Quebec. Now, we've got some comments on the show that I'm a little willy-nilly with these engines that I don't run them accurately and prototypically. Oh, really? So, yep. So guess what? Today you're going to see the most prototypically accurate startup and run sequence that you have ever seen. So how are you going to do this? Well, get ready, because here we go. Are you ready? We're going to start her up. All right? So let's take a look at the engine that we have here. Let's do like a little. Hang on a second. I got to get ready here, Engineer Hall. Hang you on. ready? Yep. Hang what, on. What are you doing? Okay. Ready? All right. I'm ready. Well, what are you doing? Okay. Just got to go expect everything. Oh, jeez. Make sure everything is good to go. Uh, it looks like I might need a little grease, but I think we'll be okay there. A little dusty, but that'll work. Okay, inspection looks complete. Hey, how's that piston traveling? Uh, I don't know what a piston is. Is that a basketball team? Okay, uh, yeah, there's a bell. That looks pretty good. Oh, we gotta refill the soft drink. Okay, we gotta take care of that. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, let's get started up. I'm just waiting to get orders. Hey, I can get a table chest for thirty dollars. Okay, okay uh, communicate with Mike Brakeman. Uh, engineer Brakeman. Brakeman here. All right, uh, ready for a brake test? Eight seventeen. Uh, good set, good release. All set to go. Over. 
Fantastic. All right, now I got to type in the PTC code. Got that right here. Oh, 75 numbers. All right, here I go. One hour later. Whoops, too many eights. This is going to be a while. Is that a four or a seven? A few moments later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for track orders. Woo. All right, time to do our run and release test. Check it out. All right, test it up. All right, that's a good run and release. Gotta wait for track orders now. Where was I? Whew. Should have had three big gulps. All right. Hey, here we go. This batch. Let's see what they got. Oh, sweet, we can finally go. Hey, while we're here, why don't we test out the horn? How about the bell? Alright, and away we go. Engine 3812, here we go. All aboard! Engineer Hall, can you guide me in, please? Just Roger, come on, back there, about three cars to the couple. Three cars? Three cars. How about now? Nope, keep coming. Two to go. Roger. One car. Half. Truck. Hang on. Got to make sure the couplers are lined up nice and secure. Okay. Yeah, that's my job. Get out of here. All right. Come on back at the truck for the couple now. Far well, enough. Stretch it out now. All right, far enough. Woo. Let me get three step. All right, Roger. Here we go. All right, cancel three. Go and pull it. Engine number 3812, uh, we have a clear clearance, Clarence. Uh, what's our victor, Victor? Alrighty. 
Very cool. So I hope you enjoyed the most realistic looking real time trained uh, uh, run session possible. Now, if you excuse me for the next hour and a half of this video is going to be the putting this train uh, in its designated spot, cleaning the engine and getting it ready to go to bed so we could get ready to go tomorrow. So stay tuned for that after our credits. Now the short hood versions retail for $309.95, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $209.99. And then the high hood versions retail for $299.95, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $199.99. Great deal to get on the engine with a bunch of different road names, different versions, low hood, high hood, your pick, your railroad, you decide. So come in the Yankee Dabbler and get that engine today. I was trying to figure out why you drive running so slow. Well, on? on our rails, we have a very uh, slow speed restriction because mm -hmm. our layout's always filled with stuff. Oh, so oh, we run on restriction. Okay. Yes, right. absolutely. Right. Slow orders. Yeah. Something like that. Let's take a look at all the things that we saw in today's new show here. If you take a look here from Repito, I had these Cinebeam flat cars, and these were really cool looking cars here. I had here from Atlas, we had here these PS cover box, or I'm sorry, hopper cars. And then from Walters, I had these box cars at a really great deal too. And then from Atlas, we had all of these GP38s, really great looking designs here, great colors, great polars, great engines. I didn't really talk about them. I really enjoyed the Marco lights, and or, I'm sorry, the dish lights that are in these engines. Is they look great and they respond really well. But of course, if you're looking for something that you didn't see in today's show, well, that's okay. You can always go to our website, yankeedabbler.com, type in the search bar what you're looking for. If we have it, we'll send it to you so you can have hours of railroading fun on your own railroad empire. If you're not already subscribed to Engineer Hall's channel, I don't know what you're doing. Click that subscribe button. Get caught up on everything that we have going on on the channel. Uh, there's so many good uh, videos that we have, and we got a lot planned for the future. So make sure you click that subscribe button so you do not miss a minute. We're going to conclude with our rail fan video. We're going to go back to that Reading and Northern Railroad. We're going to take a look at the F units there, pulling an excursion. It's a really neat looking train. I think you like it. So enjoy the rail fan video. Now, if you excuse me, as I said, I had to continue my my realistic operation of a diesel locomotive so i'm going to start the uncoupling process here i got to get these cars to the different areas in the hump yard here i gotta get this engine ready for cleaning here so i got a lot of work to do so may as well get started see you guys i gotta wait for my conductor i don't know where he is <laughs>